Hello and welcome to First Time. In this episode, I'll be reviewing the film You Hurt My Feelings, starring Julia Louis Dreyfus from Seinfeld. Um, she's the most notable actress that I recognise. Um, and it's directed by someone called Nicole, correct me if I'm getting it wrong off the top of my head, Hofstetter. It actually had quite a lot of elements of a Woody Allen film being set in New York. I won't say trivial, but I'll say like everyday life inc um, incidences that actually really affects us all um, being played out in a movie. It's almost like a, a European or French style of cinema in which these are more realistic life circumstances than a Hollywood blockbuster, Top Gun sort of a fantastical film. In saying that, like a lot of French cinema is heavily dramatic. Um, deaths, births, marriages, realistic, but really like often tragic or full on life things. Whereas this film is a lot more in the vein of a Woody Allen film where it's uh, situations that we could all relate to. Um, so in some levels, it might be less of a draw card because it's less of escapism and fantastical. Um, in other ways, it's um, more of a draw in because it really speaks to things that I think we can all relate to. I could kind of sum up this film with a magic scene between parents and their child, who's an adult, in which the son's like referring to something and he's like, I knew I wasn't good at it, you parent A, told me I was great and you pushed me into it. Um, so a fantastic line was, I saw myself through your eyes and not through my own eyes. While this person feels like they were set back because they were pushed to do something they knew they, knew they weren't great at and maybe they always doubt themselves and they're not being honest or true, it made me think, well, isn't that what love's about? Someone that's gonna love you even if you're not the best or you're not fantastic, you're just uh, like anybody else, but they think you're the best and fantastic, which is kind of what we all really want. I really feel like, isn't that what part of love is? Um, that, you know, connection to being like loved unconditionally that we have when we're childs, children, babies. Sounds so weird. I should the theme of this film is really about we want to be fantastic in the eyes of the people that we love we want them to think we're fantastic because we do things for them and we are invested in them and i guess it really hurts to ever find out that you're not all that you might just be okay, but they still love you anyway. Uh, the characters in the film, while they're lying, thinking, say, you're great, you're fantastic. They're not, they're not thinking like, oh my God, I have to swallow my tongue, you're totally crap. When that person loves you and they're telling you you're great, they're not biting their tongue, they're propping you up, they're loving you. And um, in a way, that's a real blessing and we kind of all need our partner to validate us. But at the same time, I guess we need a kind of a balance. Like if someone's always propping you up and validating you and you're not great, how do you get to be great? How do you learn? How do you grow? So there is kind of a deeper question there as well. And that's all the signs of a great film. If it can really like raise a question that you could take home and ruminate on, what more could you ask for? It was um, pretty cool in that way. And yeah, a film about uh, love, relationships. And I just had that kind of New York-y feel where people say things that are so like blunt and flat and upfront. They're not trying to decorate it, but it's somehow hilarious because it's so relatable. She really ticks a lot of boxes. Our Julia Louis-Dreyfus, she really knows her niche. This isn't the first film from the director. I'm not sure if I've seen any of her other films, but I'm really wanting to find out more of what she does. I really feel like there is a bit of a gap there. I'm not saying that other directors haven't filled, been able to fill it, because I know there's one or two that I've seen that have, but there's a gap there left since Woody Allen's kind of departed from the scene and this is not trying to fill those shoes, but it's in the same spirit or vein or lives on the same planet. And um, that's really great to see. So I would very much recommend this film. Anyways, I really appreciated uh, the film. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.